Popper often talked about the problem of the empirical basis for science, that is, how do we ground our facts? For Popper, facts weren't things that are evident, are manifest. Rather, facts are theory-laden. They are embedded or sedimented with theory. Uh, a way to understand that is through his distinction between singular statements and universal statements. A singular statement is something such as, this is a glass of water. It refers to a particular object here and now. It is also conjectural or hypothetical. It's a hypothesis. Is this a glass of water? Yes. True. It's a glass of water. So implicit within a statement, this is a glass of water, is, a, is an answer. It is true that this is a glass of water. could also be false. This could be a glass of vodka full, you know. Um, but it is indeed a glass of water. A universal statement, on the other hand, is a statement such as glass is breakable. It refers to theories and it also refers to scientific laws. Uh, and these two things, a universal theory and a singular theory, both interact. Uh, within every singular statement or sing uh, singular statement, there is embedded within it you know, a univer universal statements or what Popper refers to simply as universals. So when you say something like, this is a glass of water, or here is a glass of water, within it we have these universals embedded or sedimented within it, such as the universal glass, which implies the, the law-like properties being breakable and other such law-like properties. Also, in the word water, the, wa the word water also has law-like properties implicit within it. It has universal statements embedded within it, its meaning. So, so to understand even, even simple singular statements, uh, there is a, a, a sedimentation of these universal statements or universals within it. This is a, a, sort of a platonic aspect of, of Popper's thought. There's a kind of Platonism involved here. Uh, Crucially, what that means is that basically facts don't f speak for themselves. There is no empirical basis uh, that theories go all the way down, even to the most primitive of, of, of descriptive facts. So uh, I think that has a lot to teach sci scientists and particularly also social scientists who want to make their work appear more scientific than it often is by including facts, um, including data. Uh, Popper's point was basically that all data, or all facts, in a sense, has a theoretical component, and it, in a sense is theoretical. All human knowledge is theoretical. All human knowledge is hypothetical, is conjectural in nature, as a result of these embedded universals. Uh, thank you.